to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have another great topic discussion for you guys that I want to get into a little bit here today. And it kind of hit me out of nowhere. You know, we do have AEW Unrivaled Series number 7 coming very soon. Honestly, kind of a weak set, I think, overall. It's just not the most exciting. You know, I'm excited to see some new guys in the line, but some of the way those guys look and some other things in the line, just, I don't know, it doesn't get me too excited for Unrivaled Series 7 necessarily. I'm a little bit hyped for Series 8, I guess you could say, but today Hey man, we're going to dive into something that I don't know. I don't think it really bothers me, but I want to know if it bothers the community to a T. I, I read things online all the time. I see things. I've defended this case multiple times, and I'll do a little bit of defense, and I'll probably play a little bit of devil's advocate in this video. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you feel this way. Maybe you're on one side. Maybe you're on the other. Maybe you're like me, where you understand both sides, and you're like, hell yeah, or maybe you're like, yeah, I, I could see it that way, or whatever the case is. Maybe you can let me know down in the comment section below, but leave me a like, guys. Let's try to get to a thousand likes on this video i'd really appreciate it now the topic that i want to discuss today guys is going to be about the aew and rival collection figures we've gotten them for a little i don't i don't even know has it been almost two years or has it been two years exactly now we're seven series deep in the unrivaled collection not counting you know they're about to be in any day now if i had to guess we're up to four series as far as like what we know is coming in the unmatched line but we've only seen one series we're still waiting on series two to come in been very successful i think i think the figures are fresh off the press they're very very hot right now now, I mean, I'd say they're probably in the wrestling figure community, they're probably the most sought after figures right now. Is that is that fair to say? However, Brad, as rare as they are, just like every other figure line that you can, what is this? hair. Just like every other action figure line, man, they are definitely not perfect. They do not live in a perfect world. There's plenty of problems with them. There's plenty of problems with WWE figures and all other figure lines that you could ever assess. There, are, There's no perfect figure line out there. And one of the biggest issues that AEW figures face, at least in today's video, is going to be the amount of repeat characters, Bradley. Now, you may be thinking, hell yes, of course, yes, thank you. Thank you for somebody pointing it out. I've seen it all over Facebook groups. I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it in YouTube videos. People do not like the repeats, or at least that's the overall vibe that I'm getting. Now, in this video, we're going to break down a little bit of how many repeats there actually are, and if it's just in our brains, or if it's actually a true thing. And we're also going to break down why they do it, why we get so many repeats, what we'd maybe like to see moving forward, and some figure guys that maybe deserve a chance to be in the AEW, you know, action figure line. So let's go ahead and dive into these few points, man. Let's start off with, is there actually that many AEW repeats in the Unrivaled and Unmatched series, and I gotta be honest with you, Brad, there is a shish ton of repeats, okay? Let's start with the undeniable goat of repeat figures in the AEW line. You're probably coming at me, Cody Rhodes, right? It's actually not Cody whatsoever, man. It is Chris Jericho. This man has so many damn AEW figures, and we're not that far along in the line. This is this is pretty ridiculous when you get into it. All right, are you, are you ready for this? You got the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly. You have the Series 1 figure with the pale skin tone. You have the Series 1B figure with the dark skin tone or the fixed skin tone. You have the Series 1 chase figure. You have the Series 6 figure. You have the Series 6 chase figure. You have the AEW shop exclusive that we got to see. You have the Amazon exclusive with two jackets. You have the Luminaries figure, like the flashback that's coming in the unmatched line very soon. You have the Series 8 Jericho. And then you have the Series 8 chase Jericho. And then if you add all of that up, you also have the unreleased four pack that we still have not seen render uh it render images of just yet we've seen like prototypes and like you know the big four pack leaked image of it but if you add all of that up chris jericho has 12 aew action figures made to this point and if you look at the figures bro they're pretty much the exact same figure like give or take it's the exact same figure or it's very very similar a couple different pants decos change you know the head sculpt changed a little bit we've seen i think three different head sculpts now maybe four however man that is just crazy when I, I knew we had a lot. I knew that we had a lot. I know that we had seen a lot, but that is crazy, the amount of Jerichos that we've gotten, man. Absolute insanity. Now, I'm trying to collect every single AEW figure loose and mock, and I'm obviously behind because all the chase piling up, and then, you know, you get behind, you got to spend 1,000 on one, and then 800 on one, and all this stuff. One day, I will complete the collection and catch up all the way, but the Chris Jerichos are crazy, man. That's 12 Chris Jerichos. That is just mind-blowing. Do you want to keep going? Cody Rhodes? He has 
two ringside exclusives. He's got the Blood Brothers one, and he has the TNT Champion one. Outside of that, he has the Series 1 with the pale skin tone, the Series 1B, and then he has the Series 1 Chase that was one of the first Chases, one of 500 that's super duper rare. Somebody convinced Balor Figs to give me his for a good price or a great trade. I'll trade him 50 Elites if he wants. You also have the Series 4 and the Series 4 Chase, and then you also have that UK exclusive with the ring. Shout out to Balor Figs for hooking me up with that figure. Hook me up with the other Cody. So I think in all, Cody has eight figures out there already. You want to keep going, Brad? We have Mox, Series 2, Series 2 Chase, Series 5, Series 5 Chase. You got the two-pack coming with Darby Allen. You have the four-pack unreleased figure that's also a part of that four-pack with Chris Jericho. And then we also have the upcoming ringside exclusive figure that is featured with Kenny Omega with the exploding barbed wire match. And then he has a Series 8 figure, and I think he's the Series 8 Chase with Chris Jericho. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's the case. So two more Moxleys right there. And if he ends up being the Chase in Series 8, that would mean that he has nine AEW figures. Continuing on, Kenny Omega, right? Ringside exclusive AEW ring Kenny. You got the Series 1 pale skin tone, Series 1B with the fixed skin tone, the Series 4 Omega, the Series 1 unmatched figure, and then you have the other ringside exclusive with the exploding barbed wire deathmatch with Jon Moxley. So for Kenny Omega, he has six figures in the AEW line. We can keep going, bro. MJF? Yep, you guessed it, Brad. Series 2, Series 2 Chase, Series 6, 4 pack that's unreleased. Then you have the unmatched Series 2 figure. Five MJFs. Darby Allen. Series 3. Series 3 Chase. Series 1 unmatched. Series 1 unmatched Chase. Two pack with Mox coming up. Five more Darby Allen figures. That's five Darby Allen figures. Hangman. Series 2. Series 5. Series 5 Chase. The ring that's coming soon and then the two pack with Kenny Omega. Not to mention the two pack with Kenny Omega that I forgot to mention with Adam Page. That's actually an additional Kenny Omega which makes seven. Not only are we getting figures of certain guys multiple times over. We're getting the same figure multiple times over in different ways. Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian, they had their Series 5 figures. They're also getting that 2-pack in the orange gear. Jurassic Express, Series 5 figures. They also had the ringside exclusive 2-pack with them. And then you have the other 2-pack that's a variant with them switched in the packaging. So a ton of different variants, a ton of different re-releases there. In the same gear, not in the same gear. Different head sculpts, some have the same head sculpts. Multiple that we've seen. Even Dustin has three figures, man. Dustin has three figures already. Young Bucks have repeat figures. Orange Cassidy has repeat figures. The Lucha Brothers have repeat figures. Now I can see both sides of the coin. You know, you have you have your top talents. Like Chris Jericho, I know he's one of the biggest faces and you gotta keep him selling, but Jesus Christ, man, 12 Chris Jerichos. <laughs> That's insane. Now, honestly, I personally don't mind the repeats because I love collecting most of these guys that are top names. Kenny Omega, Mox, Cody Rhodes, Chris Jericho. I mean, if you look around this room, man, I have a ton. I have like 60 Seth Rollins. So I am not the one that's going to crap on repeats. However, I also see the point in getting more guys on the roster, more guys that we haven't seen, which I think is what the unmatched line is going to capitalize on, which we've already seen very early on with the first four series. Yes, we have a couple of repeats, but we also have brand new guys just filtering into the lines, which is so sick. Also, when you got guys like Adam Cole, Brian Danielson, CM Punk, those guys are also now going to fill up waves instead of, you know, Chris Jericho, Cody, Kenny Omega. Those guys are also going to be able to break up waves and we won't get so many back to back to back to back. So that is also another huge deal. But I think in the Unrivaled and the Unmatched series, man, we're going to continue to see new talent pushed in there. And that's why they wanted more retail space to pump that in there with the Unmatched collection. So I totally see, I'm sick of seeing repeat figures, but I think we've kind of entered an era now where we're not not going to see that as much, but early on we definitely had to get through those dark days where it was, you know, a lot of repeats and a lot of re-releases again, but I, I I really wasn't on that bandwagon. Like, I get, I understand you got to sell product. You keep Cody and Kenny, Jericho, the Bucks on the pegs. That way, you know, they're easy to find. They, they get off shelves and then stores want to reorder your product. So I totally understand that side, but I also see the side where, you know, you want to get re you know new characters in there. You want to see new guys that we enjoy, and I think you're seeing that with the Unmatched series, with these new waves coming out and all this new talent so that's another thing but it's insane the amount of repeats that we've gotten already and it's probably I, I think like the Chris Jerichos hopefully are stopping now or at least at this juncture it'll be a while till we get another Chris Jericho because Jesus Christ that's insane man that is utterly ridiculous one guy that I honestly would love to see more of is Kenny Omega because he has a bunch of different looks that I'd like to see and his figures have been phenomenal I've had a ton of fun you know playing with those Cody Rhodes is another one I love all the different gears we can get 
get. There's so many different gears that we could get that I love. The bucks are more, you know, I don't care if we get more bucks, even though they do take up two spots in a line, so that is a thing. But I don't know, man. I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you like the repeats? Do you not like the repeats? Do you think it's, you know, it gets old fast? Is it boring? Like, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys truly feel about the different repeats and all of these different things, man. But that is going to wrap up today's discussion video. Do you guys agree with it? Do you, do you see both sides? Do you hate it? Do you love it? I've heard uh, a lot of people hating on the fact that we get a lot of repeats. Now, I will say 12 figures for one character this early on is insane. There are people in, like, there are people in the WWE Mattel Elite line that don't even have 12 figures, and they've been around since the beginning, I'm pretty sure. Like, Triple H obviously has 12. John Cena, Undertaker, Roman Reigns probably has 12. I'm sure he has 12 Elites by now. But we're like 90 series in, you know? And there's been so many spinoff waves. So to see 12 Chris Jerichos is pretty insanity. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this discussion and diving into the AEW and the repeat figures. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like 12 Chris Jerichos. That's a lot of Jerichos. You cross the line, I've been